students welcome in my youtube channel let's do this question and this is taken from class 10 chapter 9 uh, some applications of trigonometry fifth question is a kite is flying at a height of 60 meter above the ground the string attached to the kite is temporarily tied to a point on the ground the inclination of the string with the ground is a 60 degree find the length of the string assuming that there is no slack in the string so let's first of all understand what is given in the statement. A kite is flying at a height of 60, uh, 60 meter, right? And uh, the string is making an angle of 60 degree with the ground. It is given and uh, we are to find out the length of the string. Assuming that there is no slack. Slack means there is no looseness in the string. String is very straight. So we are to find out the length of the string. So let's draw the figure first of all. So suppose this kite is at a height of 60 degrees so suppose this is the kite k is kite right and this is point on the ground right so this height kl is here 60 meter given right now this is suppose uh, this string is tied on the ground here uh, suppose uh, this string is tied here on the ground at point p right so here string is making 60 degree angle uh, with the ground here so this angle is 60 degree right in figure kl is the height of the string uh, height of the kite and kp is the length of the string this is string th where it is at point p tied on the ground so this string is making uh, angle 60 degree with the horizontal so we are to find out the value of or length of kp length of string so first of all we will write uh, what is there given in the statement so it's written let kl is equal to 60 meter height of kite kp is a string angle p is a 60 degree and in right angle triangle klp uh, we are to find out kp so we'll write kp in the numerator over what is given that will write in the denominator that is kl is given is equal to see uh, which t ratio will be there kp is hypotenuse here right and kl is here perpendicular so it becomes h over p so we know p over h is sine theta so h over p will be cosecant of the angle 60 degree so here cosecant will come cosecant 60 degree will come so fill the values kp we are to find out this is length of string kl is 60 and now cosecant 60 degrees so sine 60 degrees under root 3 by 2 so cos 60, cosecant 60 will be reciprocal of that that is 2 by root 3 so from here you can cross multiply 60 will go in the numerator here and multiply it so kp is equal to 60 to the 120 over sorry it is root 3 not root 2 uh, so cosecant 60 is 2 by root 3 so over root 3 so now we will rationalize this denominator so we will multiply up and down by root 3 so it becomes kp is equal to 120 root 3 over root 3 into root 3 is 3 so this 3 can be cancelled with this 3 ones are 3 forties are so you can say that 40 root 3 meter is the length of the string so you can write the last line so the length of the string is 40 root 3 meters 